Becoming a guy who seems to have it all figured out. And why do you get the feeling that as he makes this entrance, there are going to be more of these in very big settings, just as big as this, if not bigger. And I don't think he'll be any more awed by them than he is here tonight against Narciso Valenzuela. When I did his fights over at the Olympics, I have to tell you, one of the things that some of the other Americans succumbed to, letting the judging and the other influences and all the bizarre goings on there affect them, this young man kept himself as focused as could be. That's why he came away with the gold medal. And fighters like Oscar De La Hoya just don't come along that often. You know, again, maybe you have to harken all the way back to Sugar Ray Leonard. That's for somebody to come along that just really has the charisma that Oscar De La Hoya has. Yeah, he's a special guy. And you don't want to overhype it. The fact of the matter is, you can see in only his 10th fight, they're talking about him fighting Gennaro Hernandez who is a terrific junior lightweight champion, and a great junior lightweight champion. And he says, I want him. Bring him on. Well, I think the other thing that's interesting about that is if that fight should come about, yes, Hernandez is the champion, and yes, he's going to get a pretty good payday, but he's not going to get as good a payday as the challenger. He might not, because that's part of the sticking point, but more about that later. Yeah, we will talk a little bit more about that. That fight may or may not happen. It is in serious negotiation right now. But I'm sure that's the furthest thing from Oscar De La Hoya's mind, is he is really milking this entrance, I will say well, that. He's already learned one veteran trick, make the opponent wait, and he's not even a champion yet. That is the, one of the oldest tricks in the sport of boxing. As the music is playing, the fighter has not appeared, and meanwhile in the ring, Narciso Valenzuela is trying to do what he can just to kill some time. And now they've killed the music, and here comes Oscar De La Hoya. Look at this young man. Do you get the feeling he's enjoying this? Absolutely. I think so. That sounds like another guy you worked with that we know too, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. <laughs> and of course, Sugar Ray Leonard. Yeah, and he seems to you know, be as dedicated as Sugar Ray Leonard. I mean, I remember during the days that Ray was fighting, and yes, there was a, a side of Ray that was a good time side, but when it came time to train for a fight, it was all business. And that's exactly the way Oscar De La Hoya is. This is a crowd that with its zeal for Michael Carball has saved a little room in their heart for Oscar Dello as well. Long walk here at America West Arena from the dressing room to the ring. And here comes De La Hoya now. And the entire crowd will see him in a moment. And here he is. And, uh, of course, resplendent in his Team De La Hoya outfit. participants have entered the ring and what's left now is to take a look at what it's going to take for each of these men to win this fight Al, the keys to victory all right as we take a look for de la hoya pressure bell to bell once it right on valenzuela half the ring it's not a big ring but valenzuela will be using it cut it in half for valenzuela obviously he must give some movement to de la hoya de la hoya is so dangerous in the early rounds he's got to take him into the later rounds all right let's talk about the rules then here in the state of arizona these will be exactly the same as the WBO. You see every single thing right down the line is exactly the same. They have just told us, incidentally, that the Arizona Boxing Commission has installed the testing rule, the HIV testing rule, and uh, they didn't want to be a follower. They wanted to be a leader, and so, in fact, they are. Junior lightweights, we're going 10 rounds. Oscar De La Hoya, Narciso Valenzuela. Let's meet him officially with Michael Buck. And now, ladies and gentlemen, Top Rank Incorporated, along with the King of Bears, Bud Weiser, presents the second of our boxing triple header here in Phoenix, Arizona. All the officials assigned to ringside by the Arizona State Boxing Commission shall remain the same, except for the judges. The following personnel shall score this bout on a 10-point must system. They are Bob Cox, Joe Garcia, and Dr. Michael Munoz. And now, ladies and gentlemen, a very special 10 rounds of boxing in the junior uh, lightweight division. When the bell rings, the man in charge will be referee Bobby Ferreira. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner, wearing the white trunks with blue trim, weighing 133 and one half pounds. He comes to us tonight from Santa Rosalia, Mexico, with a professional record of 49 professional bouts, 35 victories with 23 KOs against 12 defeats with two draws. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome Narciso Cheap Show Valenzuela. And his opponent. 
opponent across the ring, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the white trunks with green letters, weighing 133 and one half pounds. He's a 1992 Olympic gold medal champion. Now undefeated as a professional with a record of 10 and 0. Nine by KO. Ladies and gentlemen, the pride of East LA, the golden boy, Oscar De La Okay, I already gave you guys the instructions. I expect a clean fight. Protect yourselves at all times. Shake hands. Good luck to both of you. Oscar De La Hoya knows how to work a room, doesn't he? <laughs> now, Cecil Valenzuela, meanwhile, and what he brings to this dance, as we said, is experience. That's, that's his only chance, to be honest. Oscar De La Hoya, meanwhile, the golden boy, an aptly named. And he is so dangerous in the first couple of rounds that you need very much to kind of get him off his game. And say, See, he used to be in the amateurs, and for those people that saw him, remember, he was a boxer, strictly a boxer. Now, even calling him a boxer puncher seems wrong, because look at him, he's a stalker. He wants a knockout with almost with every punch. Like all the great ones, he is a terrific finisher. If he gets you hurt, you're gone. You saw there Valenzuela trying with the overhand right. What, the one thing he thinks he might be able to do here is land the overhand right over the jab of De La Hoya. And, and remember, Valenzuela, it's not like he... Oh, my! He hit him with a right hand, and it wasn't an overhand. It was a short right hand, and that should serve as a wake-up call. Uh-huh. There's a first. Flash knocked out. He was not hurt. Did the right thing. Dropped to one knee. Took the eight count. To say there's a buzz in this crowd is an understatement. And that was Oscar De La Hoya being a stalker, but not being careful when he did it. Well, if Dallas went and needed a little bit of a confidence builder, that would do it for him. see 
he says, okay, wait, now I'm going to take a rest here. Let's get myself collected. He's thinking about things, getting himself collected. Boy, did he ever. Landed a super straight right hand. Let's look at the combination. That's three straight huge punches. And that was where the referee was trying to push him away. Oscar was looking down, checking out his opponent. There's the first knockdown by Valenzuela. And then now let's take a look at the way the fight ended. Excellent combination work by De La Hoya. Valenzuela has been in trouble. Put down, and I think that left also got in his eye. It might have affected his vision, but he was in serious trouble. Yeah, he was done. He never really recovered after the first knockdown. And we talk about the great ones are great finishers, and folks, here is a potentially great one. And in round one, look at that. 71%. And one of those six was a pretty hard punch by Valenzuela, but Delhi came back and I'd say he was fairly accurate. Yeah, I would you? say so. And that's been the hallmark of his young career so far. So he is looking at a championship in the very foreseeable future. And he really did a dance on a very experienced fighter tonight. It was quick, but it was exciting. And, and the Valenzuela gave us a little extra excitement. All right, let's make it official now with Michael Buffer. Here's Michael. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Bobby Ferreira reaches the count of 10. The official time, 2 minutes, 25 seconds of the very first round. Coming off the canvas to win by knockout victory, the Golden Boy, Oscar. Hey, uh... De La Hoya, a first round knockout winner, and just for good measure, he added a little adventure to it as he got knocked down himself.